Climate change denial. Let's talk about it. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Before you comment, before you say anything in the comment section. Talking about the politics attached to these things. Abstain. Hold off. Hold back. I'm talking about climate change in and of itself by itself. I'm not talking about the politics attached to it in this video. Although I will discuss the topic of how people automatically zoom in to politicizing climate change and why that right there, boom, pinpointed, is the, capital T-H-E, problem in and of itself. The politicization of climate change is the motherfucking problem from either end. Okay? So unless you've been living under a motherfucking rock, hell, even if you have been living under a rock, there's changes going on underneath the fucking rocks at this point. Unless you're just a total dumbass and can't understand how gazillions of cities throughout the entire planet or chuckle, chuckle, flat circular plane for you fanatical flat earthers out there. If you're so dumb to not be able to understand that that by itself, in and of itself, right there, is climate change and can lead to nothing other than climate change. Unless you're that dumb, you're going to be able to understand what I'm going to be saying going forward in this video. If you are that dumb, though, that you can't understand that that by itself, minus any other factor, is still climate change, then if you're really that dumb, it's really best to just not listen to what I'm going to say going forward. It really is. It's really best to just not fucking listen to this video. It is, and I'm telling you now. So watch something else, watch my other content, do something else with your time. Don't listen to this video if you're so dumb that you can't realize that cities filling the entire fucking planet all over the goddamn place, everywhere, and everything that's required to run those cities is by itself motherfucking climate change, then just, okay, you know, nothing more can be said to you because you're just too fucking stupid, all right? You're too fucking stupid. Oh, but no, no, that's not climate change. That's just terrain change. That's just... How many face palms do I need to do? 100,000, a million? You know? A billion face palms? (laughs) For those of you who cannot understand, the nuclear reactor is filling the motherfucking planet all over the place, everywhere. At coal plants, all these other motherfucking things. Oil rigs, oil oil being drilled out, blasting up into the air. Cars driving everywhere, all this other fucking bullshit going on. Rubber, huge gigantic fucking trash heaps all over the place. Oceans filled with plastic and shit. If you're too fucking stupid to understand that all of these goddamn things and thousands muck more things on top of this is fucking climate change, then you're a fucking idiot. But the problem is within conspiracy land, we have people who, because they're so goddamn fixated on the government corruption conspiracy, what the government is using climate change for, their nefarious agenda in relationship to climate change they mix up the entire issue of climate change by it motherfucking self as being always a connived, schemed conspiracy thing. As if it doesn't have an independent existence minus every corrupt motherfucker that exists just disappeared off the planet, the planet would still be motherfucking climate change like a motherfucker. Okay? Without all, with all these elites and motherfuckers gone, the planet is so far into being fucked up by all the shit that's already happened 
it would still be fucked up. Minus all these motherfuckers here. <laughs> God damn it, man. So no, my content is not for stupid people. It's for people who think layers into things beyond just conspiracy land and politicization of facts land. But the problem is in conspiracy world, there's this narrative going around that's really fucking stupid. That everything to do with climate change and the negative aspects of it is all 100% balled up as this one amalgamated, oh, that's a conspiracy. It's 100% artificially caused as a conspiracy. Therefore, that's what it is. It doesn't have any independent existence as a thing going on, minus there, it being this conspiracy agenda thing. Therefore, because it's a conspiracy agenda thing, we're just going to say it's not happening. No, it's not a big deal. No, whatever, whatever. What, no, it's just not as bad as they're claiming. It's exaggerated. Blah, 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 blah. Because it's a conspiracy thing and it's being used politically, therefore we must resist these narratives. Because it's being used politically. Sit back a minute, sit back in your armchair, take a deep breath, and let what I'm about to say sink in, if you're one of those people who is thinking that way. It's 100% motherfucking irrelevant who politicizes it or who doesn't. The politics surrounding it are politics. Obviously, people are going to be politicizing it. Of course they are. That's what humans do. They politicize things. But remove the politics from it and pay attention to what is actually going on. Minus the politics. Minus the conspiracy. Notice that the stupidity of humans by itself, without the need for a conspiracy, is criminally lethal. Notice that, please. Please, thank you. Have you noticed that yet? That you don't need a conspiracy for human stupidity by itself to destroy the entire world. Has that sunk in yet? Because human stupidity would destroy the entire fucking climate by itself without any conspiracy. Needed. And if you can't understand that, you're insanely stupid. So no, you don't have to buy into specific set dates. Like, okay, the world is going to be completely destroyed by this exact date or whatever. You don't have to do that to recognize what's actually going on with the situation. You don't. You don't have to. Okay? There's no necessity to set an exact state. Okay, at exactly this time, this amount of the population is going to go extinct to this degree. No, that isn't necessary. Just pay attention to what is happening. Notice the pattern, okay? At least do that much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Because what this goes to show is it shows that there's certain people psychologically who will never acknowledge the actual full scale of an issue unless until they are literally dead from it. Like they will not acknowledge the issue and it will literally kill them. So there's many examples of this in life regularly where people will never see a chiropractor. They'll complain about back problems for 20, 30 fucking years. Hey, have you ever seen a chiropractor? No, I, I don't need a chiropractor. They're not going to help me, blah, 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 blah. I just... And then what? What ends up happening? They end up with massive fucking spinal issues. They're hunched over like it's nobody's fucking business. They can't even walk anymore. When that literally could have been corrected by a chiropractor 20 years ago. If they just went in to fucking see one. You, that shit like that, Okay. And those people tend to be the same kinds of people, by the way, who tend to continually, nonstop, always conspiratize and politicize climate change. 
The second you bring it up, they immediately bring it over to, oh, it's being used as this nefarious agenda against us to screw us over and to force us to do all these other things, to be slaves more, blah, 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 blah. Duh. Obviously. You think I'm that stupid that I don't know that? Come on. You think other people are that stupid that they don't know that also? For fuck's sake. Of course people are aware that it's going to be politicized and is being politicized and is being used to fuck us over more. Of course it is, goddammit. That's what corrupt motherfuckers do with stuff that's actually going on. They use it to their nefarious advantage, obviously. But you make it out to be like people are so fucking stupid who are aware of the severity of climate change that they're buying into some hyped agenda or so... Okay, sit back into your armchair again, stop being so stupid, and listen to what people are actually saying. Nobody's panicking and saying, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we need to run up and down the streets like chicken with our heads cut off, scream, waving signs in the air. I mean, like, because it's not going to do anything anyway, even if we did that. No, we're just chilling here, doing what we've always done, remaining prepared practicing skills, we're just aware of the reality and how severe it is, and we're not dumbasses about it. That's all. (laughs) We're not sitting here being like, oh my god, awareness of this equals you need to be panicking now. You need to be paranoid now. Of course not. That's fucking stupid. That, That isn't even how you prepare for things anyway, by being paranoid or freaked out or terrified. You prepare so that you aren't in those states of fucking mind. Okay? (laughs) God damn, man. So, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely fed up with people who are, well, I'm not fed up with the people themselves. I'm fed up with people behaving this way because behavior can change. Okay? I'm fed up with people behaving in a way that involves them always bringing up politics the second you mention anything related to factual climate change and always bringing up the conspiracies attached to it. Oh my God, climate change, these narratives are being used against us. They're being overhyped in order to get us to this, that, and the other, or whatever, convince us to do certain things. I'm just tired of people always immediately jumping to that over and over and over and over again, because that's obvious bullshit. It's like, that's so fucking obvious to me and everybody else who understands anything about anything related to reality. It's so obvious that, of course, it's being politicized. It's so obvious that it's being used for conspiratorial purposes. Of course it is. That's not what we're talking about when we're talking about what's actually going on with it. That's not what we're referring to. We're not referring to those things. We're referring to what's actually happening with the motherfucking thing. Okay? That's what we're fucking talking about. The other problem is people who have these cozy, comfy houses or even just basic amenity houses, not even like super comfy and cozy, just basic Western, quote unquote, Western amenities. Or rather, I don't even like using the word West. It's such an inaccurate word because it's also there's they have Eastern amenities, too, in Japan and stuff. Um, Quote unquote, most modern amenities. Right. Let's put it that way. industrialized amenities, etc. It creates this delusional situation where the two and two thing, the things aren't put together in your brain because you're not spending enough time out in the bush, out in the wilds, out away from the city to recognize climate change happening outside of the cities. Because in the cities, you can kind of live in this delusional world where all sorts of shit can be changing all the time but the majority of your existence is spent inside buildings or near buildings. So the actual scale of what's actually fucking happening isn't really clicking to you because you're not familiar with the dirt, what's in the dirt, what's on the dirt, plants themselves, animals themselves, the nature as a whole, the environment, the desert, like these things you're not very familiar with. Therefore you're not aware of what's actually changing in them and the direness of the situation in them. Okay? Because you're not out in it enough. 
So for people who are out in it enough to a significant degree, number one, here's the first thing I need everybody to understand. Okay. If you're a person who has basic sense and who does anything significant or substantial out in the really, really vast bush out there, way out in the rugged wild, okay? You can see firsthand how this planet right now, up until this point, for thousands of years, our entire existence on it has barely been habitable this entire motherfucking time. Barely habitable for all of us. Barely. That's why we needed to build cities to begin with, motherfuckers. It's because the entire thing's been barely fucking habitable. That's why we had to build the fucking buildings and industries to fucking begin with. So this fact also escapes the awareness of these idiots denying climate change. Somehow, there's this gap in their understanding. There's this, there's this head clunk moment where they can't register that this planet itself has been barely fucking habitable the entirety of its existence that we've been on it to our species. <laughs> so any amount of fucking with that more in a way that will even make it slightly less habitable is bringing us very, 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 very goddamn close to extinction or at very least a very fucking miserable existence going forward. Okay. And if you haven't noticed, it's already hellish without it fucking being completely collapsed and totally uninhabitable. Everything's about the fucking money. We're harassed and tormented with financial bullshit all the time already. Already. There's already issues all over the fucking place in the world while it's fucking barely habitable. <laughs> all fucking ready. Okay, <laughs> so you're going to sit here and claim to me a world that's already barely motherfucking habitable in the vast majority of places, other than a few little pockets that we've artificially spread out due to cities. <laughs> it's already barely habitable for us. Okay. Lifespan historically was a fucking nightmare throughout the majority of human history. <laughs> you mean to tell me that a place that's already barely habitable now being fucked with more and all these problems already existing in it, somehow, some way, it's just going to remain forever, magically, hunky-dory, totally habitable to all of us for the rest of its existence. Oh, and it, the only problems are only ever going to be just humans interpersonally squabbling with humans. Nature's just always going to bounce back. It's always going to be just fucking fine. No big deal with nature itself. Come on. Give me a fucking break. So what the fuck are you doing denying climate change itself? Not the politics attached to it. I'm not talking about the conspiracies. I'm talking about what are you doing? Like an idiot, denying climate change's existence that you can observe with your eyeballs in the form of huge cities filling the entire planet because it's already barely habitable. And denying all the shit that you can see with your eyeballs every fucking day in front of your eyes, if you know what to look for, even in the city, and throughout the world, in all the events that you see unfolding, being reported, happening, taking place, etc. And then people, oh, there's just so much more being reported now. It's just so much more convenient to report stuff real time. Therefore, it just seems like a lot more is happening. How many face palms do I need to do? How many? How many face palms, folks? My head's feeling bruised just thinking about it, Okay. My face is feeling bruised just thinking about how many times I'm going to have to face palm after this video. I really hope I don't see dumbass comments below this video. I really hope I don't see stupid fucking comments. I really hope not. And now, and then you have a bunch of other motherfuckers wanting the collapse to happen as quick as possible. They don't really want that, by the way, because they're thinking in their own case, they're going to somehow just euthanize themselves out of it and themselves die more or less a peaceful death, some gradual death, but everybody else is going to die miserably and they don't care. It's like these motherfuckers who are saying they want it to happen as quick as possible and are okay with it. No, they're not actually okay with it. They don't know what they're fucking saying. They're not going to be okay with people screaming and, and torment and agony around them on the streets, yelling at the top of their lungs as their blood's pouring out and they're fucking just, Oh my God. 
No, they have a Mad Max fantasy in their head or some other fucking Hollywood fantasy about what the post-apocalypse is going to be for them. Okay? That's why they say that bullshit. Ain't nobody who understands the reality of it and who has the actual skills to survive stuff for as long as possible. None of us are looking forward to the fucking thing collapsing and falling apart. Thank you very much. And we know Hollywood is fake. It makes... Fucking man, even movies like The Row, they make the situation look like a fucking paradise compared to what it's actually going to be like. Mad Max makes the apocalypse look like a fucking luxury compared to what it is now, for fuck's sake. All sorts of other movies that are post-apocalyptic. They, so many of them make the post-apocalypse, the post-collapse look like such a fucking like candy store experience. It's ridiculous. They don't even come close to reflecting the reality of what it's going to actually be like in terms of the misery and fucking agony people's teeth fucking rotting out and need to be pulled and ripped out and just screaming and pain over it getting infections through their teeth that are not cleaned properly just fuck man lack of anesthesia <sighs> fuck <laughs> So there's various other content creators that cover this stuff that I deeply appreciate. And I'm going to mention them by name in videos going forward when I cover this topic in more specifics, different aspects of it, etc. But no, I I'm not going to give the time of day to any dumbass that's going to come and try to tell me Climate change isn't going on when I've seen it with my own fucking eyeballs out in the wild to the very plants that I've been observing for multiple years over on end. I've seen it taking place out there. So don't fucking come and tell me climate change is this myth or it's this fake thing. It ain't going on. I know better, motherfucker. I see it happening real time in front of my face. And I know professionals who observe it and measure it happening real time beyond what they believe about the politics. I have a pr friend of mine who is conservative in his views on climate change, who mentions, the, oh, yeah, climate changes in these cycles and period. This is what goes on over hundreds of thousands. This happens. This thing, you know, this goes on. He himself told me he's been observing directly firsthand the water level being three feet or more lower than it has ever been in his entire career in all the areas he's doing his hydrogeology in throughout the state. The science is undeniable. Even though he has his views and opinions on it, there it is. It's going on. It's happening. And that is, guess what? Minus the politics attached to it. Minus the conspiracy attached to it. We've had natural mass extinctions in the past. So even if somehow, magically, all the shit we're spewing out into the environment or atmosphere, all the shit we're doing isn't having any effect at all or such a negligible, teeny, minuscule effect that it's not even worth taking significant note of, even if it's just 100% fucking a natural cycle change, that by itself can bring the human species to total extinction or close to it and induce an incredibly miserable existence on Earth by itself, minus the conspiracy, minus the politics, even if it's 100% natural. So this is the other part that, that it just really, I get so weirded out by with people who always turn it into a political thing. It's like, okay, you literally acknowledge yourself that there are actual natural cycles on Earth and if you know about the actual history, you'll notice that humankind has many times over come very fucking close to being totally extinct. Now, before you say it in my comments, watch my other videos, folks, before you go on the spiel about it. But it'd be great if humans just totally go extinct faster. What about your other posts? What about your antinatalism, where you're totally fine with gradual human extinction? If you have half a brain cell, you'll understand the context of what I mean in those videos that no, I'm not gung-ho about humans going extinct specifically. I'm simply emphasizing that if happenstantially humans go extinct, 
then that's not something to be disappointed about if it happens over the course of how events play out. You shouldn't be actively bringing more children and exposing this to this hellscape additionally to who is already here. But it's important that we have who is here living as maximally healthy and good of a life while they are here up until the day they pass. I'm not interested in a world that's a hellscape to live in while we're here. Okay? So for all you dumbasses who are thinking to write something like that or be clever, before you say it, I'm calling you out, no, that's bullshit, and you know it, so don't say it. Okay? Because you're being a dumbass if you say something like that. Yes, ultimately, if we gradually go extinct situationally, or if we had gone extinct in the past, it wouldn't, it probably would have been better than not in certain ways, at least for our species, not being exposed to torture. But you would have still had all these other species exposed to this tormenting hellscape anyway, right? So watch my other videos before you type those types of things in my comment section. Thank you. I appreciate it. I've done tons of videos on those side topics. But this video, I'm talking about this topic. So please stay on topic. Thank you. So with that side spiel out of the way, which I felt was necessary, because people always do it. They always say, what about this? What about this? What about this? Okay, look at everything I've said everywhere throughout my content as a cohesive whole together. Okay? That's the answer to that question. Just because I do one video here and then another video elsewhere, and I talk about different aspects of a topic, different things, it doesn't mean that those things aren't correlated together for people who have basic sense, and you can understand how they fit together. If you have basic sense, because you can, okay? So, <clears throat> the point I'm making in this video is that humans have, many times in the past, come very close to total extinction. This has gone on. The point I'm making in this reference is we have faced an ice age that humans had to survive through, okay? Even people within conspiracy land who deny evolution <clears throat> and who specifically deny that that's actually a thing, even they, the vast majority of them, acknowledge that the ice age was a thing, or at least a flood age or a period where there was a huge upheaval throughout the world. Most of them acknowledge that even when they deny evolution, okay? Everybody's on the same page with that shit, pretty much across the board, right? Whether it's the mud flood thing or the Noah's flood thing or the ice age thing or all of it together or an asteroid impact thing, 1000 some BC, what, you know, everybody everywhere acknowledges that in the past, humans have been in a world where it was very fucking cataclysmic, a bad fucking situation, okay? That's pretty fucking obvious. So my point being is that you know that these cycles go on, even within conspiracy land. You know that these cycles, quote unquote, go on naturally or have gone on artificially induced by previous civilizations, fuck ups or misuse of their technology. So how is it that now you're so disconnected that you acknowledge that happened before, has happened, can happen, but somehow isn't happening now? Do you see the disconnect, folks? Do you see it? Do you see the disconnection in their thinking? How their thinking isn't stable. It's not consistent. It's not steady. There's a lack of consistency in their outlook on life and inlook in terms of basic sense within themselves. So even if it is 100% natural, minus human caused factors that can still by itself be more than enough to cause almost total or total human extinction, as well as extinction of all sorts of other species on the earth and make the earth a living hellscape for most species. Most of the time, far worse than it is now. Okay. Because if I'm going to gradually go out or disappear from this world, I would rather have medicine and stuff and euthanasia available to me that I can, intentionally go out in a quote unquote, more or less peaceful manner without experiencing any agonizing pain than being in a world where the only ways out are agonizingly painful ways out. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you now understand why it's important that 
whatever we do have technologically that's beneficial is maintained and not collapsed and not gone. I'd rather have modern medical facilities available to me to use to pass on if I need to, rather than not having them available, if you know what I mean. And the technologies involved in making that passing more smooth versus not being there. Okay? So any dumbass looking forward to the collapse is a dumbass and is a psychotic motherfucker. Because they don't understand the implications of what they're actually saying or suggesting. Am I okay with dying in combat and experiencing the pains that come along with that while my adrenaline is pumping? Yes, I am okay with that kind of a death. I would rather have that kind of a death versus any other kind of death in a nightmare hellscape of a world. And I would actually rather have that kind of a death in certain ways over a peaceful passing, a quote unquote peaceful passing, comparatively speaking, in certain ways. Sure. But I want the availability of modern medical facilities there rather than not. So if I survive the fight or survive the battle, I can get healed up with minimal pain and anesthesia, motherfucker. I'm not interested in actually being tortured for fuck's sake. The pain you feel during combat is collateral. It comes along with the territory in connection with the deeds you're performing. What you're wanting to achieve, it's not that you're going out of your way to specifically feel a blade slicing your neck off or to feel bullets gouging into your guts. Obviously not. It just comes with the territory of the situation. So <clears throat> that being said, I hope this video has been insightful and has just been a shake up call because be these people need to be shaken up, not just woken up. They'd be shaken out of their fucking armchair stupidity about what's actually happening with climate change minus the conspiracy, minus the politics attached to it, even though those are things going on. Obviously. Okay? Stop insulting other people's intelligence, thinking because you're part of conspiracy land hype train that you're somehow more in the know than others about what's going on with the climate or not. That somehow you're smarter than everybody else. Because you're not. You're not more insightful. You're not more deep. You're not more of a badass than everybody else because you're part of conspiracy hype train land in your thinking. You're not. So stop acting like you are. Fucking ridiculous. Have some humility, have some dignity, have some ability to recognize everything I've mentioned in this video. Okay, and recognize what's been going on in your thinking. The auto politicization of climate change, the auto-conspiratization of climate change topics. Notice that that's a problem in your brain chemistry's processing of the topic. Your tendency to automatically attach it to those things, like instantly, boom. It's a problem. It's problem thinking. It's clunky thinking. It's inaccurate thinking. It's emotional tribalistic thinking. It's emotional hype train thinking. It's conspiracy hype train land thinking. And it's unnecessary. Because unlike what a lot of people seem to assume, other people aren't that fucking stupid when it comes to climate change stuff. That they're unaware that the government is using it for nefarious agendas. That's really easy to put the two and two together. Like, that's really fucking basic. Okay? Really goddamn basic. And... I'm going to do a whole video dedicated to the other aspect of this topic, so look out for it. It's coming. People are going on and on about this. Oh, why are you so concerned about the world and the climate? This material stuff here going on, blah, 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 blah. Why am I so concerned about it? And then they go on this spiel about, we should be focused on the spiritual, on the world beyond this. Okay, motherfucker, let me plop you into the middle of the fucking Sahara Desert. How does that sound? And just have you walk around in the middle of the Sahara not being worried about water. And then be there for two weeks straight. Or hell, no, no, no. However, let's be in the middle of the sand, unable to find water. How about that? I'll do you one up. And when you're on the brink of death, dying of dehydration, in the middle of the Sahara, 
not able to find water, walking in circles. While the sun is roasting on your head, vultures are flying around pecking at your eyeballs. And then come to me, motherfucker, and ask me why I care about the climate, the environment, and taking care of what we have fucking left as much as we can for as long as we can while we're here. Then come back to me and go on about this why do I care about it sh- bullshit that you keep spouting out your fucking mouth, you dumbass. It's obvious why I care. It's obvious to anybody starving to death right now why I care, you fucking asshole sitting on your fucking armchair in Britain or wherever the fuck you live with food reasonably readily accessible to you in a refrigerator or where the fuck you're getting it from. Drop yourself in the fucking Sahara and starve to death and then come to me before you're dying and then ask me why the fuck I care. It'll be pretty fucking obvious by that time why I care. When I plop down in front of you that gigantic fucking gallon of water, 20 fucking gallons of water that you couldn't find in the middle of nowhere, that you had access to in your westernized country, wherever it was you were living, you arrogant prick, thinking you're more spiritual than others or more aloof, less bothered, less disturbed. You'd be a whiny little motherfucking bitch. You didn't have fucking water or food for a couple days. You can't even fucking abstain from nitpicking other people's comments online, you dumbass. You can't even abstain from that bullshit while you have access to food and water. What the fuck's wrong with you? You wouldn't be able to withstand starving to death or dying of dehydration without screaming your fucking head off. Fuck you. The fuck do you think you are? And there's a bunch of motherfuckers saying shit like that. Fucking armchair philosophical crap. Of course we're concerned and we care about spiritual shit beyond this shit show. Obviously, for fuck's sake, if we're spiritually inclined people. Of course we fucking care about that shit more than just the material rotting body bullshit. Obviously. But we're also, while we're here, interested in not having a fucking Sahara Desert in the United States. We're already fucking close to it in the Great Basin, near where I live. If you haven't noticed. No, but I know you haven't noticed because you live in your little armchair, wherever the fuck it is, world, where you have access to water and food right now. Thus you can muse and go on about this, oh, why are you so concerned about these material things and blah, 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 blah. (laughs) The same things you're concerned about, you're just acting like you're not concerned about. So, I've just had it with these motherfuckers. I've I've just had it with their stupidity, how fucking dumb they are. How assumptive and prudish and asinine they are to think that you and me, who are aware of the reality of what's going on with the climate change, minus the conspiracy, minus the politics, all that other bullshit, who assume or act like they're somehow more aloof from concerns about the material necessities of life, yada, yada, yada. Oh, why are you so concerned with these material necessities that I have access to every day of my life in front of my face on a plate and in my refrigerator? Why are you so concerned about these things that are so easily accessible? Say that to somebody starving to death. Say that to their face, motherfucker. Ask them why they're so fucking concerned about it. Ask them. I want to grab your fucking neck and shove your face in front of a starving person and be like, ask him, motherfucker, why he is concerned about having water to drink. Ask him, goddammit. Why is he concerned about the material necessity of water? Fucking ask him. And then fucking toss your body to the side after I force your head in front of his, force you to fucking ask him that question. You're asking me. I'm not even fucking kidding. If I was in a position of power, I would do that to these motherfuckers. I'd grab the motherfucker out of his armchair. I'd drag his ass into the fucking desert. I'd hold his head in front of a starving kid. I'd be like, ask this kid why he's fucking concerned about it, you piece of shit. And I'd fucking probably kick him in the head afterwards, too, for how disgusting he is for suggesting such a fucking thing. 
implying or acting like me or the starving kid or whoever the fuck else is less spiritual than him or less concerned about deeper things beyond material than he is. Fuck that piece of shit. I haven't even begun to express the degree of disgust I feel towards that kind of attitude expressed in a person. This is why I'm fed up with this whole spiritual mumbo jumbo bullshit world where people keep going on this spiel about why are you so concerned about the material necessities? Fuck you. Fuck you. Why am I so concerned about it? What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, I'm interested in not suffocating to death. I would like to not suffocate to death. Thank you very much. I'm all for my existence beyond this world, but while I'm here in a body, I'd rather not fucking suffocate to death. Thanks. I'd rather not die of dehydration. Thanks. And believe me, I know what severe motherfucking dehydration feels like, bitch. It's torturous. It is torture. Okay? I'm interested in not being tortured to death via dehydration, via lack of food. Starvation is torturous. But I know you've never experienced it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be saying that bullshit, now would you? Why so much rage, perpetual pleasurist? Why so much anger? Well, if it isn't obvious by now, well, how can I make it more obvious? Well, with a hundred other videos, I guess. I guess that's how I'll make it more obvious why I'm raging about this topic and so pissed off about it. Specifically, people's attitudes towards it. It's not so much their... It's not so much the degree to which they're into, oh my God, climate change, we're fucked. It, that's not so much the degree of that. That's not really what I'm concerned about. It's their attitude of scoffiness towards those who actually express genuine concern about it because it's something to actually be concerned about. It's a legitimate thing in front of our fucking faces. It's going on. And we're simply aware of it before... We ourselves are the ones starving to death or dehydrated to death or not able to breathe and dying from it. We're simply concerned ahead of time and wanting to ensure that we minimize those kinds of deaths for ourselves as much as we can before it fucking happens. Do you see now? Do you understand why I rage at that attitude people express towards it when they scoff at the validity of our concern about it? Because when it happens to them, all of a sudden, miraculously, magically, somehow, now they're concerned about it all of a sudden. Now, the material necessities are all important to them in their existence. All of a sudden, now it becomes so important to them that they have water and food. And you sit down, oh, what the fuck happened to you not being concerned about these things? What the fuck happened to the nothing going on with the climate? There's no climate change, right? So why are you starving to death? Why are you fucking starving to death if climate change isn't a thing, motherfucker? Why? Why are you sitting here groveling and complaining about not having food if climate change isn't a fucking thing? Why? Why are you having this issue? Why are you concerned about your material body? Why don't you just give up the ghost? Just let it go. Just merge into your spiritual existence and Go beyond this world, beyond the Demiurge's influence, etc. Why are you concerned about having water all of a sudden? Now that you're really motherfucking thirsty after three days of not drinking water. Why, why all of a sudden now are you concerned about it? Why? You know? What miraculously changed in you? Oh, that's right. You fucking started dying of thirst or starvation. That's what changed. 
So it finally registered in your brain chemistry. Oh my God. No wonder these people starving to death actually are concerned. And no wonder people not starving to death who have actual real fucking far reaching empathy towards these others who are starving to death actually are raging and pissed off about it now before it happens to them because they know how bad it's going to be and can be if and when it happens to them. That's why they're raging. Ding, ding, ding. Good job. Well done. Bravo. You understood correctly even though it took you to fucking starvation and dehydration to get there. Now you get it. Why the material world here, in terms of the health of our bodies while we're here, and the pleasure we feel while we're here, is so important to us, in addition to our spiritual existence beyond this motherfucking world, whatever we imagine or want or desire in that regards, or believe is the case, or feel is the case, or experience is the case, etc., Okay. I like to be thorough in my presentations. Thank you very much. So please, in the comments below, please talk about the actual facts of climate change. Leave out the conspiracy bullshit narrative stuff. You can comment that on all sorts of other fucking videos where I do talk about those topics as the topic. And it's just a request. You can say what you want within... Re I mean, don't swear at me and be an asshole because I'll just ban you right left. I'm, I'm just sick of people's stupidity and being assholes. So as long as you're not going to be an asshole to me and you're going to be able to comment in a reasonable way, talking about what's actually going on, what you observed, what is evident, what is not evident, please talk about it. Please discuss it. Please brainstorm with people. Thank you. Leave out the bullshit, the politics, these tangent narratives, and please, motherfucker, leave out anything to do with why are you so concerned about the material? <laughs> if it's not obvious why I don't want to see that bullshit anymore on my channel, that I, I don't know how to make it any more obvious. Okay. So please abstain from that kind of bullshit. All right. But please do converse. Please be positive. Discuss with the intention of accomplishing something with others to benefit yourself and others in this world while you're here. Please don't nitpick others' comments. Leave that bullshit out of my comment section going forward on this channel forever. Thank you. And actually make a point to accomplish something with other people. Talk with others. Have video chats with them. Discuss with them. Okay? And various content creators I like and appreciate who do actually cover the reality of these topics and recognize what I'm talking about here. Um, these people I highly recommend and will have links below for you to watch. So without any further ado, thank you for listening. I very much appreciate it. It means a lot because instead of doing something else, you listen to this video and that shows that you actually care about what I have to say here. So thank you very much. And with that, I will talk to you soon. Perpetual Pleasurist, PP, signing out and fill in the blanks with whatever you would like to fill the blanks in with. Plunging in. Have a good one. Talk to you soon. Take care of yourself, your bodily climate, as well as the climate around you, and you will be maximally happy for as much and as long as you possibly can be while here. Talk to you later.